Okay. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. So, there's only a few structures on here I, I'd like, you know. So this area up here, above the arcuate artery and arcuate vein, this region is going to be the cortex, right? So we're looking at this region here. Let's turn this around so you can see it. So here is the cortex, this region is the cortex. Here is the arcuate artery, you can see here at the base of these pyramids is an arcuate artery. You can see here is another pyramid which is in the region called the medulla, the renal medulla. So here is another arcuate. If we take this section right here between the cortex and the medulla, and we blow it up, we're looking at this. So, renal cortex, renal medulla, you can see the arcuate artery, arcuate vein. Off of the arcuate artery is this cortical radiate artery. So here, off of the arcuate artery, is the cortical radiate artery. If we look, back at the cortical radiate, we can see that there's a branch that leads in to this structure. So that's the afferent arterial that leads into the glomerulus, which is feeds into the Bowman's capsule. Okay, so that's the afferent arterial off of the cortical radiate. Let's go back here. Arcuate artery, cortical radiate artery. We follow any branch coming off of it into this structure. This is the renal corpuscle. The renal corpuscle. What's feeding into it is the afferent arterial. So now, here's the renal corpuscle. Off the renal corpuscle in this region, we're looking at everything in red, is proximal convoluted tubule. So if we follow it around, it's quite convoluted. Eventually, it's going to take us down here. Now we're out of the cortex into the medulla and we start to descend down. This is the thin descending limb of the loop of Henle. This is the loop of Henle. Now we're coming up and we start ascending limb of the loop and you can see it's thicker so it's the thick ascending limb. And let's just go back here for a second. These are called uh, the vasa recta is the capillary system here. The vasa recta. Now we're coming up to the thick ascending limb of the loop of Henle. And right here where we've got our afferent and efferent arterioles, this is now the distal convoluted tubule. Now it's in purple. So the distal convoluted tubule comes very close to the afferent and efferent arteriole. If we go to the plaque here, we can see afferent arteriole and efferent arteriole, which would have to make that the what? Distal convoluted tubule. And these cells here are the macula densa cells. Macula densa cells. Okay, so now we're at the distal convoluted tubule. Distal convoluted tubule comes around into the collecting duct. We follow the collecting duct down. Now we're back into the medulla, the salty medulla, because of the countercurrent mechanism of salt and water taking place at the loop of Henle. Here's the collecting duct coming down into the papilla. So this region here, we're at the apex of the pyramid. So here, here's the nephron, this is the collecting duct, and right here at the apex of the pyramid is the papilla, or the renal papilla. If we go here, right, there's your glomerulus, proximal convoluted tubule, there's your descending limb, loop of Henle, ascending limb, distal convoluted tubule, very close to the afferent arterial, distal convoluted tubule, collecting duct into the papilla which is at the apex of the pyramid. So this is going to drain where? It's going to drain right into the minor calyx. The minor calyx is drained into the major calyx. The major calyx would lead into the renal pelvis which will lead into the ureter. 
Don't forget the arterial system. You got your renal artery, segmental artery, interlobar artery, arcuate artery, cortical radiate artery, and the afferent artery. Okay? All is good? Yep. Okay.